in this video I'll show you how to enable HVCI in Valorant. All right, you might be having a problem where it says you need to enable HVCI. Well, this video is for you. All right, first up, go to your search bar right here and type in run. All right, hit enter. Now in here, just type in MS Info 32. Once you're done with that, just hit on enter and you will be landed to this exact page. Now in here, you're gonna wanna scroll down until you find the section, Hyper-V or Hypervisor virtualization enabled in firmware as you can see here it is enabled now for mine and i don't have the problem anymore what we're going to do to fix the issue is just go ahead and go to your search bar and type in device security right here i'm going to click on it now in here i'm going to want to click on core isolation details click on it and as you can see you will need to turn this on or off all right now if yours is turned on right here you might want to turn it off now if it's turned off just go ahead and turn it on all right once done, restart computer right here. Restart. After that, go ahead and launch Valorant and check if it helps. Now, if that still won't work, the solution will help fix the issue. All right. Just go ahead and go to your search bar and type in GP edit right here. Click on edit group policy. Now in here, I'm just going to maximize this one. Now these tabs right here at the left pane, we're going to want to click on administrative templates right here. All right. Then go to system. Double click on it. In here, we'll be able to see the option or folder device card. Just double click on it. And as you can see here, turn on virtualization based security. Double click on it and make sure that it is enabled. All right. Once that's done, hit on apply, hit OK, close this one, restart computer. After that, launch Valorant and you're good to go. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.